I hereby call the 10th day of the fourth regular session of the 23rd Congress to order. May we all rise for a moment of silent prayer. Chief Clerk, please call the roll. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Apelo Alfonso. Senator Mang, amen. Senator Aritos. Senator Asher. Senator Christian. Senator Figuier. Senator Colland. Yes. Senator Conman. Floor Leader Lawrence. Yes. Senator Marar. Yes, ma'am. Senator Nemeya. Yes. Vice Speaker Ramalo. Hey, Amen. Senator Sigra. Yes, Senator Rusumal. No. Speaker Moses. Hey. Mr. Speaker, all 14 members are present. Thank you. For that, we have a quorum, full house today. Next item, Chief Clerk. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We're now on item number four, reading of the journal. Floor Leader Lawrence. Morning, Speaker and members. I move to dispense with the reading of the journal. It's been moved and seconded that Congress dispense with the reading of the journal. Any discussion? Objections to the said motion? If none, debate is closed. We'll now vote on the on the motion, all those in favor say aye. All opposed say nay. Motion carried. Congress has now dispensed with the reading of the journal. Next item, Chief Clerk. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We're now on item number five, presidential communications. We have numbers 23-322 to number 23-328. Members, take note. Please take note of communication number 23-323. Very important one to note. Next item, Chief Clerk. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We're on item number six of some Supreme Court communications. As of now, we do not have any, Mr. Speaker. Next item. Item seven, member communications. None also, Mr. Speaker. Next item. Item eight, Department of Communications. We are in receipt of one, and it's number 23-59. Thank you, Chief Clerk. That is 1,000 cases of water to be shipped to the marshals. <laughs> Next item. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We're on item number nine, Agency or Governmental Authority Communications. As of now, we do not have any, Mr. Speaker. Next item. Item 10, State Communications. None also, Mr. Speaker. Continue. Item 11, State Supreme Court Communications. None. Item 12, Municipal or Town Communications. None, Mr. Speaker. Item 13, Foreign Government Communications, none. Miscellaneous Communications for item number 14, none, Mr. Speaker. Order of the day. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Under the order of the day, we have item number 15, Standing Committee Reports. Uh, Please refer to the awaiting list number 23-21 for Standing Committee Reports awaiting the 24 hours requirement. Point of privilege. State your point. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to take this time and this opportunity uh, for the members and everyone here to recognize some very important people who are uh, joining us this, in this morning's session. I'd like to start off first with uh, the Honorable Floor Leader Wayne Olap from the Chuk State Legislature House of Rep. Let us please give him a round of applause. Along with him is uh, Representative uh, Ricky O.C. Pangas Chipen, Chairman of Chengo. <clears throat> Representative Erat Sale, Vice Chairman of Health. And also with us, um, we have Mr. Kim 
and Steve Chains, who happens to be our newspaper guys, brothers. Is that correct? Let us please welcome them. And Mrs. Uh, Tame Chains, the wife. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Floor Leader, for recognizing those individuals. They're always welcome to come and observe Congress while it's in session. But you forgot uh, Lucas Cups. Who do so uh... <laughs> Okay, thank you. Next item. Oh, uh, short recess. Congress is back in session. Madam Chair Gunman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I wish to withdraw and place a special committee report number 23-65 for action. Oh, yes, second. Okay, um, I, I believe it's standing committee report, so, so uh, please re re rephrase your motion. Okay. I wish to uh, withdraw a special committee, a standing committee report number 23-65 for uh, adoption. It's been moved and seconded that standing committee report number 23-65 be withdrawn and placed on today's calendar for action. Floor leader, any rules to? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I so move for the Suspension of the rules that may impede our actions on the placement of the said report. It's been moved and seconded that the rules that may impede our action on the placement of standing committee report number 23-65 be suspended, especially the rule requiring a 24-hour waiting period. Any discussion on the said motion? Objections? If none, we'll vote. All those in favor, say aye. All opposed say nay. Motion carried. The rules are now suspended. We are now on the motion to place standing committee report number 23-65. Discussion? Any objections? If none. Speaker. Chairman Figueroa. I believe uh, since I didn't have the time and it's my fault to do my job by reading the, the report, I'm, I'm just wondering if this, uh, and I believe this uh, report has, uh, is reporting on some federal grants, and if so, are these grants uh, require uh, auditing, annual auditing, in order to continue receiving the grants? Madam Chair Conman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, we went through, uh, we had an oversight hearing on this grant, and we went through it orally, and uh, they really presented the activities of its air, the components of this grant. Uh, so I, uh, we're still in the second year of this grant. Uh, it's not yet complete, but after the five years, then they will reapply for continuity, continuity of this grant, still ongoing. So I don't feel that there is a need for an, an audit. Thank you. Chairman Figueroa, did that? Uh... Well, yeah, uh, sort of uh, give me some comfort, but I, because I know that most grants uh, require annual audit and reporting on the success and failure of these programs. If, so what I would take the, uh, the uh, what the chairwoman of the committee has said for the record. Thank you, any more discussion on the placement of special standing committee report number 23-65? If none, uh, no objection. Debate is closed. We'll vote on the placement of the said standing up report. All those in favor, say aye. All no opposed, say nay. Motion carried. Standing committee report number 23-65 has now been placed on the calendar for action. Chief Clerk, first report. 
Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Under the standing government reports now, a standing government report number 23 65. Madam Chair Gunman. Move for adoption of uh, said standing government report. It's been moved and seconded that Congress adopt standing government report number 23 65. Discussion. Mr. Speaker. Chairman Christian, you have the floor. Mr. Speaker, about 10 or so years ago, uh, I expressed interest uh, that this government review all, all foreign programs such as this that come into the FSM to see whether there are redundancies uh, to make sure that we receive and continue to receive those programs that actually and very uh, very directly support our public health system. Uh, that, that didn't happen uh, for reasons unknown to me. But I still believe that somewhere along the way we need to sit down and review all these programs to figure out whether or not we want all of them or we could say to the United States, this program is not needed because it's being taken care of under this other program. Uh, we must be able to do that. Uh, all this money that's been coming in to support our health and education is quite quite large and yet the other day I saw a part of a health report that shows that in Pompeii while we thought that the prevalence of leprosy and tuberculosis have been erased from this state there remains a very large number of cases and I am wondering whether that large number I saw actually indicate a conclusive uh, outreaching of detection, or there may be still a lot out there that's not been done. It was not clear in the report. I also noted that the sexually transmitted diseases, Pompeii continues to be number one in that. Uh, is there something to be proud of in that, you guys? Uh, I don't know. But in the areas of Civilis and Conaria, Pompeii is at the top of that list. And I'd like to ask Madam Chairman to uh, find out, not just for Pompeii State, but how extensive uh, are these uh, outreach programs to identify uh, endemic or, you know, this, this, these diseases that can ruin the health of a community. I mean, it's good to receive these grants, but let's make sure that they are useful, that they are being put to good use rather than the support of United Airlines and the rental vehicles that uh, we use uh, when we travel on these federal programs. Thank you, Chairman Christian. Any further discussion on the, on the adoption of the said report? Question. If no objection and no further discussion, question has been called for. The debate is now closed. Let us vote on the adoption of Standing Committee Report number 23-65. All those in favor say aye. All opposed say nay. Motion carried, Standing Committee Report number 23-65 has been adopted by Congress. Next report, Chief Clerk. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As of now, we do not have any more reports. Next item. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We're now on item number 16, Special, special Committee Reports. None, Mr. Speaker. Next item. Item 17, for assignment of measures and communications, please refer to referral sheet number 23-50 and re-referral sheet number 23-01.
Chairs and members, please take note of those two reports. Next item, Chief Clerk. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We're on item number 18, unfinished business. None, Mr. Speaker. Next item. Item 19, Bill Galanter. None also, Mr. Speaker. Next item. Short recess, Speaker. Short recess. Congress is back in session. Chief Clerk, next item. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We're now on item number 20, resolution calendar. The first resolution under the resolution calendar is Congressional Resolution number 23-154 for adoption. CR number 23-154 is a resolution approving and accepting a grant from the European Union, Union through the Pacific Community or SPC as the regional implementing agency in the amount of five, 505,000 euro for the implementation of the Building Safety and Resilience in the Pacific Phase II, or PSRP II, project in the FSM, including all the terms and conditions of the assistance. Chairman Golan. Move for adoption of said resolution. Second. It's been moved and seconded that Congress adopt Congressional Resolution Number 23-154. Discussion? If no objection, Question has been called for. Debate is now closed. We will vote on the said motion. All those in favor of the adoption of Congressional Resolution number 23-154 say aye. All opposed say nay. Motion carried. Congress has now adopted CR number 23-154. Next resolution, Chief Clerk. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Currently under the resolution calendar is Congressional Resolution number 23-164. For adoption, please note that this is attached to Standing Committee Report number 23-65, which was just adopted a while ago. CR number 23-164 is a resolution approving and accepting a grant in the amount of $530,292 from the United States Department of Health and Human Services, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, to provide funding for Component A, strengthening the public health infrastructure, workforce and data systems in the FSM and its related activities, including all the terms and conditions of the assistance. Madam Chair Conman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Move for adoption of uh, said uh, CP 23-164, or CR, CR 23-164 for adoption. It's been moved and seconded that Congress adopt CR number 23-164. Discussion? If no objection, debate is now closed. We will vote on the adoption of CR number 23-164. All those in favor say aye. All opposed say nay. Motion carried. Congress has now adopted CR number 23-164. Next resolution, Chief Clerk. None, Mr. Speaker. Speaker. Chairman Figueroa. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I move to withdraw Congress Resolution Number 23-161 and be placed on the resolution calendar for action. It's been moved and seconded that Congress place on today's calendar for action CR Number 23-161. Floor Leader. Move that uh, Congress suspends any re relevant rule that may impede our actions on the placement of the set CR. It's been moved and seconded that the rules that may impede our action on placement of CR number 23-161 be suspended. Discussion? If no objection, we will vote on the said motion. All those in favor of the suspension of the rules say aye. Aye. Motion carried. All opposed say nay. Motion carried. Congress has now suspended the rules that may impede our action on the placement of CR number 23-161. Any further discussion on the placement? If none, and no objection, debate is closed. We'll now vote on the said motion. All those in favor of the placement of CR number 23-161, say aye. Aye. All opposed say nay. 
Motion carried. Congress is now placed on today's calendar for action. CR number 23-161. Chief Clerk. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Under the resolution calendar now is Congressional Resolution number 23-161 for adoption. CR number 23-161 is a resolution authorizing the President to submit the recommended National Government Compact Budget request for the fiscal year 2024 to the United States of America under the, under the 2023 Amended Fiscal Procedures Agreement. Chairman Figueroa. Move for the adoption of Congress Resolution Number 23-161. It's been moved and seconded that CR Number 23-161 be adopted by Congress. Discussion. Question, uh, Speaker. Chairman Figueroa, you have the floor. I have a proposed uh, floor amendment to the resolution. I may I ask the Chief Clerk to read for the record. Short recess. Yes, uh, Chairman Rusma. Well, I see Chief Clerk looking at you. Uh, I imagine she's looking for the amendment. So, instead of uh, well, uh, that's the reason. She knew that I had to look for the amendment. That's why she was. So she had to. Pause and tell me that it's in our package today. Yes. Uh, just, uh, I recall uh, when we were doing the ratification of the um, uh, compact three, uh, it took uh, America a long time to uh, to their part. I'm just wondering this resolution that will, is under uh, consideration by this Congress, uh, are we not, uh, are we not going to be preempting some activities by other entities? Chairman Vigier? No, I cannot tell what the uh, Americans are thinking, but I think we're, what we're doing is doing our job. It's a treaty that we are approving based on our national law. Yeah, I think, I think we've approved the treaty, and now under that treaty we need to submit a budget, and the fiscal year is coming up, so it's about time we're supposed to do it uh, during May session. I thank you, Speaker, and I thank the good chairman of uh, uh, W for uh, responding. But the uh, reference to, uh, is it FY 2023 or something? That, that kind of threw me off. It's supposed to be FY 24, and I think that the amendment that uh, I'm about to offer is supposed to take care of that. It was under the agreement for the 2023 amended compact, I believe. But the funding is for 24. Mr. Speaker. We're in recess. Go ahead. No. What little English I know uh, has not brought me to fully comprehend the meaning of the, in the title of the resolution, authorizing the president to submit the recommended national government compact budget request for the fiscal year 2024 to the United States of America under the 2023 amended fiscal procedures agreement. 
are we saying that the president should submit our 2024 request to be governed under the 2023 fiscal year? No? But what, then what does this mean? The funding for the Compact 3 starts in fiscal year 24. But the Compact was approved by the two governments in 2023. That's all I know. Well, are we submitting to the United States government or to GEMCO? GEMCO is a joint uh, entity between the two, for the two governments. Yes. So it will be to the FSM government and to the United States government and GEMCO. Okay. Shall we go back? There is that motion for the floor amendment to CR number 23, that's 161. Yes. Uh, sorry, I'm, as usual, very slow here. Uh, what is the president going to submit? What budget? Our compact, our areas in the government that require compact funding. And this will include also the state's budget. This is for state. FY24, uh, Mr. Spiegel? Yes. But we haven't done anything on the compact sector grants for 24. I believe the uh, states have already submitted theirs. Well, that's how every new thing starts. So. We're going to get used to it in time. Yeah, let's go back. Chief Clerk, please read the amendment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We have a floor amendment to Congressional Resolution Number 23-161, offered by Senator Isaac Fee Vigier. It reads as follows: Item one, page one, line eighteen. Delete the following in the amount of 11, $11,9682 dollars and insert the following. 10% of compact funds under the 2023 amended compact pursuant to section 303 subsection six of title 55 of the code of the Federated States of Micronesia annotated as amended most recently by public law number 23-30 in lieu thereof. Item two, page two, lines four to five, delete the following. As set forth in, forth in detail in this resolution in the total amount of $11,009,682. And insert the following to reflect 10% of comeback funds under the 2023 amended comeback pursuant to section 303, sub section six of title 55 of the code of the Federated States of Micronesia annotated as amended most recently by public law number 23-30. Chairman Figueroa, motion so move. It's been moved and seconded that the offered floor amendment to CR number 23-161 offered by Chairman Figueroa be adopted. Discussion? Question. No objection. Debate is closed. We will vote on the offered floor amendment to CR number 23-161 offered by Chairman Figueroa. All those in favor say aye. All opposed say nay. Motion carried. The offered floor amendment to CR number 23-161 is now adopted by Congress. We now have CR number 23-161, CD1. Any more discussion on the said resolution? If 
No objection and no further discussion. Debate is closed. We will vote on the adoption of CR number 23-161, CD1. All those in favor say aye. All opposed say nay. Motion carried. Congress has now adopted CR number 23-161, CD1. Next resolution, Chief Clerk. None, Mr. Speaker. Speaker. Uh, Chairman Asher. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I wish to withdraw Congressional Resolution number 23-167 and place it on our resolution calendar for today's action. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's been moved and seconded that Congress place on today's calendar for action, CR number 23-167. Discussion? Any discussion on the placement of the said resolution? If none. Short sure recess, Speaker. Short sure recess. We're still on the motion for the placement of CR number 23-167. Any discussion? If no objection. Please note that this is a nomination. No objection. Debate is closed. We will vote on the placement of CR number 23-167. All those in favor say aye. All opposed say nay. Motion carried. CR number 23-167 has now been placed on today's calendar for action. Chief Clerk. Short recess, Mr. Speaker. Short recess. Chief Clerk, next resolution. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Under the resolution calendar now is Congressional Resolution number 23-167 for adoption. CR number 23-167 is a resolution to confirm the nomination of Ms. Ms. Yvonne S. Johnny to serve as a member of the U.S. Evesem Compact of Free Association Joint Economic Management Committee, or CHEMCO, representing the national government. Second. Chairman. Uh, sure. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I move for adoption of said resolution. Second. It's been moved and seconded that Congress adopt CR number 23-167. Discussion. And uh, Mr. Asher, since you already have a, uh, a Chairman Asher, if you, since you already have a, you had a public hearing and I believe they're working on a report somewhere, would you like to orally supplement that report for members? Thank you. Yes, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Mr. Speaker, we indeed have the uh, public hearing for uh, nominee Yvonne S. Chani. We find her to be very impressive. She has a very extensive, I mean, she has a four years experience of working related areas. Her uh, educational achievement is very impressive. The way she conduct herself and respond to our question was very impressive as well. And I think, therefore, I ask that we uh, Consider. consider her nomination, favorable consideration for her nomination. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I move that we adopt this oral report, pending the written report. Mr. Speaker, Chairman can I ask one question of the Chairman? What college did she go to? Chairman Asher. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I think she went to UH Hilo. And then she did her master, I forgot the uh, name of the, but. Eastern Oregon, maybe? <laughs> no, I believe uh, she got her master degree or undergraduate uh, degree uh, in Japan, one of the universities in Japan. Thank you, Chairman Asher, Vice Speaker, and Chairman Christian. So there's that motion to adopt CR number 23-167. Discussion? Question. If no objection, debate is closed. This is a nomination, so we will vote by secret ballot. Chief Clerk, please pass out the ballots. Short recess. Congress is back in session. Chief Clerk, please announce the results. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We have 11 yeses and three noes. With that, Mrs. Johnny has been Confirmed to be a member on the JEMCO. Please let us give her a round of applause. <laughs> Next resolution, Chief Clerk. 
None, Mr. Speaker. Chairman Rutzman. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I move for a short recess. Short recess. Congress is back in session. Chairman Rusumab. Kalangan, Mr. Speaker, I uh, also have a resolution that I wish to place on today's resolution calendar for action, and that is CR number 23-158. Second. It's been moved and seconded that Congress adopt CR number 23-158. Discussion? On the please, and please note that the rules are still suspended. Question. And Mr. Speaker. Chairman Rusmal. If I may, uh, in case you're wondering if there is a report, uh, the report uh, 23-29 was attached to a resolution in September that uh, recommended adoption of the res that resolution but did not get enough votes. So uh, instead of, as I explained during recess, this is on the same person and for the same department. Thank you. Thank you. Any further discussion? If no objection, debate is closed. We will vote by secret ballot. It is a nomination, so Chief Clerk, please uh, pass out the ballots. Short recess. Congress is back in session. Chief Clerk, please announce the results. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We have 10 affirmative votes, four against the nominee under the said resolution. With that, um, Gardenia Isaac is now reconfirmed as the Secretary for the Department of Education. Let us give her a round of applause. <laughs> Next. Resolution, Chief Clerk? None, Mr. Speaker. Speaker. Chairman Golan, you have the floor. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I move that we go back to the Pew calendar. Second. It's been moved and seconded that we move up back to item number 19, the bill calendar. Any objections to that motion? If none, no objections. I rule that we go back up to Bill Calendar. Chairman Golan. Move to at up 23-156. Or so move, Speaker. Uh, that was a motion to pass. Motion to pass. Uh, can you Short recess. Short recess. Let me go back. Congress is back in session. Chairman Golan, you still have the floor. Move to place the following bills. CP 23-92, 23-156. So moved, Mr. Speaker. Any second? It's been moved and seconded that Congress place on today's calendar for action. CB number 23-92 and CB 23-156. Please note that the rules are still suspended. Discussion on the placement of the said bills? Speaker. Chairman Figure. Is that suspension of the rule includes withdrawing a, a bill from a committee without the permission of the committee? Short recess. Congress is back in session. Chairman Golan. Mr. Speaker, I move that motion made move to Monday session. <coughs> Second. Uh, short recess. Congress is back in session. Chairman Golan. I move to withdraw that motion. Second. It's been moved <laughs> and seconded that the motion offered by uh, Chairman Gulun, for the placement of the two said bills, be withdrawn. If no objection, motion has been withdrawn. Next bill, Chief Clerk. None, Mr. Speaker. Next Mr. item. Speaker. Uh, Vice Speaker. Most understand in recess until Monday. Second. It's been moved and seconded that Congress stand in recess until Monday at 10 a.m. But before we vote on the said motion, 
please be reminded of the members only meeting right after session as uh, agreed upon last Thursday over in the committee hearing room. So all those in favor of the said motion say aye. aye. All opposed say nay. Motion carried. Congress stands in recess until Monday morning at 10.